Morning, everyone. Good Two morning. Two sheep. Wifey G. Husband up. How you all doing? Well, it's another day on the bus. It is Sunday the 23rd, and we're at about 20 to 10 a.m. Yeah. So we've had a bit of a quiet week this week. We've, um, due to the weather, there's been no work. And so while there was no work and uh, shitty weather, we put the bus into the electrical doctor this time because <laughs> um, it had a had a flat heart and uh, wouldn't start. Uh, we had a jump start. Which we learned something really interesting was a um, we went out the other week and it, it had a bit of a breakdown and it had a flat battery, so we got it jump started and we got it going and then we brought it home and uh, it wouldn't turn off. So we had to, on the advice from a mechanic, stall it. Mm. So we stalled it, not good. and that's not a good idea, because with this bus, it has an, an air-operated clutch, and so, yeah, killed the engine, and then went to start it again, but it had a flat battery. So we had to get jump started again, and it wouldn't start because it was stuck in gear, and you couldn't get it out of gear because it had no air, so yeah, hence the big problem. So that took us two hours to sort that out and the mechanics were here and I think I spent more time under the bus doing stuff than oh, what they did. The roadside guy needed another roadside guy and it ended up being quite an interesting morning. But. Yeah, so we took the took the bus to the electrical doctor and uh, they fixed it up and recharged the batteries and just made sure the system was okay. I uh, replaced a couple of fuses in um, the battery equalizers and now the batteries charge or the house batteries charge off the engine Yeah, uh, when, before when they ready. weren't working um, and all he did was recharge the uh, engine batteries and put new fuses in the equalizers and even though they weren't bung but for some reason it must have either reset something but it's working fine mm. they restart well um, so yeah, so why the bus had a, a flat battery, don't know. Don't probably know. my fault. <laughs> I probably forgot to turn the isolation switch off. But we do okay. these things as we go along. Yeah. And the so um, bus is teaching us a lot. Yeah, so that's the way it is at the moment. Um, we've had yeah, so we had a great, great few days. It was actually great to catch up, catch up with um, my friends Mark and Jen, over in Waihe. Um, who run a really cool B and B and yeah. guest house? So Google it. I'll which is called um, it's, it's um, Union, Union Street B and B and Y He. It's like, awesome. It is yeah. It's the shit. Mm. Great rooms. And we're not saying that just because they're friends. It's really really nice setup. Yeah. Really nice. They've got a spa. Yeah, you get a spa. Um, you get your room and. And the pricing and the rates are really cheap. Mm, really um, good. And, and they're nicely uh, decorated and um, got a great decor. So they did a really good job. Yeah, there's it. a family room there as well um, and two rooms for couples. So And they're funny as people. Yeah. And and we're not saying this because they are my friends and they have been my friends for 25 years apparently, so <laughs> I got told. <laughs> but, yeah, no, they are. That's a nice place. It's off the yeah. road and, um, yeah, go Union Street, B&B. &B. Yeah. In um, Waihee. In Waihee. So, and also um, a shout out to um, Bay Auto Electrical in uh, Tipuki. They did a great job on the bus. Quick. Um, charged the, the bus batteries. Got them out. Figured out the wiring. You know, a couple of hours labour. And I think I got a bill for about $216. So, hey, you know, it's 216 bucks out of my pocket. But it was well worth it. Yeah. And they did great. So, um We've been doing some, um, what else have we been doing? Oh, some renovations on the trailer. We started that yesterday. You'll see a video attached to it. Um, but yeah, the weather turned to shit and I broke a drill bit and I haven't got another one, so I can't finish one. that. You broke more than one. Did I break two? You broke a couple, yeah. Okay. Anyway, we so ran out of drill bits. Shitty drill bits. <laughs> so I think I need to invest in some real high quality drill bits and go from there. Um, but I yeah, apart from that, we've had a reasonable few days. You fixed the hydraulics? Yeah, yeah. We had a problem with the hydraulics, I think we mentioned a while ago in a video. The stabilising legs? So they were leaking on the left-hand side at the back. So, And I found something you yesterday. I 
figured out how to open up um, the guards at the back wheel so they open and fold up. So, um, you like can, the locker doors, yes, yeah, same as locker. So, it was quite interesting to learn that and find out where they were all attached and under that. So, that was good to um, fi so I fixed the hydraulic leak, it was just two loose um, pipe fittings. Um, so they're all good now. Um, I greased under the bus yesterday all the drive shafts, all the uh, uh, everything under the bus, and I'm really a bit pissed off. We found that one tie rod arm on the lazy axle at the back is supposed to have two grease nipples in each ball joint now when we bought the bus we got it serviced in Christchurch and the idea was full service grease oil change oil filters blah 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 so I've been crawling around under the bus yesterday finding grease nipples that haven't been greased for ages and then I come to this tie rod on on the back right hand side and there's no grease nipples whatsoever they've been broken off mm. and so this uh, tie rod um, bar which is very quite beefy actually has no grease nipples so hence there's another job take the tie rod off and take it to a, an engineer to put two new grease nipples in it because yeah. it's really really hard to do on the bus I either I gotta start it up jack it all up and keep it up there while you work on it or take it to the garage probably and get them to do it so it'll probably be a garage job and um, it's only two grease nipples doesn't sound big but for what they are and where they are on this large it's a really large tie rod end and um, they're pretty important so that's probably another job for a day off um, we'll try and book it in somewhere and take a day off and take it in more expenses more money <laughs> joys of living in a bus but it's it's regular house maintenance um you know people will be out there doing spouting and painting and bits and pieces we're doing grease nipples and yeah <laughs> trailer repairs yeah it was, you know it, was it just, is what it is which it is what it is and yeah. um that's part of the budget of um repairs and maintenance yeah so that's all right it's just yeah we wish we'd have a break from this sort of stuff but hey it is what it is but yeah. no we've had yeah we've had a good few days off so we had a Good ticket to her down to Waihi and mm. um, we got a, a few things accomplished. We actually cheated and and um, under our insurance, mm. we um, got given a rental car for a few days. Um, so we get reimbursed for that cost. And, well, we didn't um, get given it. We we pay for it. But if you get your Kobe insurance with your mobile home, go for the little bit of an extra package that covers you for the roadside assistance. And they'll give you $100 a day towards accommodation and $100 a day towards a rental car. And we could have put the two together and maybe got a camper van. But in the area we're at, there was no rental camper vans. Um, yeah, which is surprising for a seasonal work area. Yeah, yeah. it's funny. Yeah, we're like, we're in, we're in Tapuki and Tauranga yeah. area. Kiwi fruit land. And, yeah, that's really weird. And but. nobody does rental van, well, camper vans. But it doesn't matter. Anyway, go for that better in a insurance premium and you'll get covered yeah it's not much you can get um like standard standard insurance roadside assistance and the gold standard is like only about another 40 50 dollars extra hey that is so worth it yeah you know we got car rental for up to three days and accommodation for up to three days 100 bucks a day um and that's all good so it's something so yeah we rented the car for two days cost us 223 dollars because I took out an extra insurance, so I didn't have an excess of five grand. Um, so, yeah, that's what it is. Hmm. Um, it's worth it, all those little things. They seem like a big cost at the at the start. And we did say when we, about, you know, six weeks ago when we bought the bus, we'll go through costings and maybe we should do that soon on actually what the bus is costing us to date. A shitload. And that insurance is included. I mean, if you've got house insurance, contents insurance, mortgage insurance, income same. protection insurance, it's, it's exactly the same. Yeah. So, so we should go through that one day. We should we should hurry up and do yeah, that. We, we're, yeah, pretty, we must say we're sorry for that because, yeah, we sort of get into it and then we sort of get into work. And I haven't sat down and drawn my budget up. And, well, we have a budget um, at the moment, which is pretty shit because our work, has not come to what we thought it was come to, but we're getting there, and 
Um, we've got a few other options coming in the wind, so hopefully we can hang out to then and yeah, and hopefully we can sort of carry on without chewing too much money out of the bank. Mm. Um, so yeah, but apart from that, we're going to probably chill out today and um, probably annoy each other. I'm making slippers. Yeah, geez. Grab your slippers, cheese. I'm making you some slippers, actually. Yeah, she's making me some slippers, <laughs> which is she's grocery. Yeah. Um, they're gonna be for me while I'm driving. Like a nana. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, nana, cheese, making, making old boy Swampy some slippers because he's getting old and his feet get cold while he's driving. Which, funny enough, this bus does not have a fucking heater while you're driving. But hey, put another jacket can't on. You can't even demiss the windscreen because. It's all been disconnected for some weird reason, or yeah, we'll we'll get it figured. So out. So one day, hopefully, we'll figure that one out. But yeah, we're getting through it. We're getting through the little projects. Um, we've got a big project coming up, and Ooh. the next fine day we have off, um, we're gonna rip shit off the roof. So yeah, we'll do all that. But when we do that, it's gonna be pretty much fine for two or three days straight, uh, because everything everything I want off the roof is gonna be ripped off the roof. Um, and then repositioned, and then new Ooh. panels put up on the roof to cover up shit that's been ripped off mm. and holes that will be left up there. But that'll be patched properly and sealed and yeah, primed and painted. Yeah. So that's a big project. That's probably maybe going to be reserved for summer, where you know you've got three, four, five days straight. But saying that again. You can do three, four, five days straight to find where they do repairs, but you're not working at the same time. So, yeah, it's pretty hypocritical. You've got a job to do, but you can't job. work. So you can't earn money, but you've got to do repairs. So that's just the way life is, really. You figure it out. Maybe yeah. we can do it in the off-season or something. We've got everything there. All the yeah, we've got all the tools. We've got, we've got everything here ready to go. So Now we need new drill bits, though. Yeah, we just won't be broken. <laughs> Fuck off. Anyway, oh, it is what it is, and we on. need to buy an extension cord, just a small one. Yeah, we've got, because at the moment our, your consent. our main extension cord's been used to hook us up to power, because we're hooked into power at the moment. So anyway, that's all good. So yeah, so yeah, it's it's alright, we're doing alright, we're surviving, and um, we're getting there, and yeah, we're still who we are. Yeah. Aren't we? Yeah. Gene needs a haircut. Not by you. But I offer it, it's free. No. I can do I it. I will do a town I day. Z I'll get them to wash it and cut it and straighten it and do all my girly things. Well, girly things. You should probably get a nail done too. One day. Yeah. That was the other cool thing in Waihe. Was it Waihe? Some really cool op shops. Got the little table that the camera is sitting on. Yeah. For 10 bucks. And I got myself a Indian dinner dress. That is cute. That is awesome. Sounds very weird, but... Yeah. You'll see it one day. Can't wait Anyone... she's wearing it. She looks hot in it. <laughs> yeah. Anyone that knows me, I like the different dresses from other cultures and bits and pieces. And I have got a sari. And so that was actually quite cool. She's a multicultural and... influence type person. Where else did we go? Oh, I just did. Yeah, just Pyrora. And... and the RV shop in Tauranga. Is insane. If if you need RV thing, I think it's called RV Nigger. Is it RV Mega? Yeah, RV Mega and um, yep. Shoot It's Road. And we'll Tower on it. That's just got everything you ever need. Attach the video after this one of the clothesline and other bits and pieces. And but, yeah, you've got to have deep pockets like anything. You go into one of those stores and yeah, mm -hmm. empty out your pockets. It's um, all good. But that's what it is. Yeah. So, yep, so that's our update for the week. Um, so stay safe. Keep cool to after school. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, stay safe, YouTubers. Yeah. See ya. See ya. Peace out. Well, it's morning time in the bus. Isn't it morning time, G? Hello, husband up. Wifey's cooking breakfast. Yeah. Wifey G. Burning toast with our new toaster. Oh, yeah, we bought a new toaster. So, anyway, G's learned how to burn toast on it. So, she's good at it. So anyway, on the menu today is uh, brown toast with scorch marks and mushrooms and coffee. And coffee. Don't forget the coffee. So can't forget the coffee. So anyway, look at that, preheating the cups even. I'm not OCD. I don't have issues at all. Do you have issues? No. No. Well, anyway. I have a hot coffee in a cold cup. Yeah. 
Anyway, it's a shitty day outside again, so we're going to have a late breakfast and do what we do. What's the time? What's the time, Mr. Wolf? What's the time? Anyway, enough of that. Alrighty. Oh, curtains are still shut. What? Anyway. Quarter past seven. Right. See ya. Bye. Peace out. Kia ora, Luke, YouTubers. How you all doing? Uh, this is husband up. So anyway, today was supposed to be a work day, but we just got told there's no work till late this afternoon. So anyway, we've decided to pull s stuff out of the bus and have a look. So so here's a bit of a tripod um, and a wok, which we'll use for cooking in the summer outside so oh look who's made appearance it's wifey g hello husband up well be nice to youtubers oh okay hello youtubers <laughs> oh, they, they know me. so yeah well we've got a, we've got a new washing line yesterday um from the rv shop um quite cool actually Bit of a view there, so yep. So we've got maintenance day on the trailer, well improvement day. So what we're gonna do is wifey G's gonna hold this up for me. Yep. Here's one I prepared earlier. Yeah. And wifey G's gonna hold that up so where's it going up there? Yeah, so that, that rubber flap there is going up there in the corner. And can you grab that piece on there? And that, that long piece there will go down the side of the trailer there. So when the door's shut, it just stops a bit of water getting in there um, while we're driving along and even while it's parked up. So, yeah, so, yeah, a bit of maintenance um, or a bit of alterations. And that's what we're going to do. So, as you can see, the hippies have got their shit out. <laughs> and, yeah. Who are you calling a hippie? Eh? Well, there's a hippie, look at it. Is that a cup of tea in my system? <laughs> so, yep. So, anyway, the bus is getting a good airing out today. And, um, yeah, it's nice. It's sunny at the moment. So, anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. So, until more videos get added, we'll catch up with you soon. See ya. Peace out. Bye.